This year, one in four of us will suffer from mental illness. I believed that I could heal people just by staring at them. In this film, we'll meet five young people who are struggling with some of the most common disorders. Fion has anorexia. At one point, I thought bad things would happen to, to my family if I did eat. Wayne is living with social anxiety disorder. I'm fearful that I'll be shamed in public, you know, not being able to get to the toilet on time. And David suffers from OCD. I'd rather die than ever have to go through that. With access to cutting-edge science and computer graphics, we'll travel inside the brain to discover what causes these mental illnesses. <clears throat> Feeling quite anxious at the moment. Explore how our bodies react when we panic or lose touch with reality. I used to believe that my mum and dad were energy vampires. And reveal some radical new treatments that could improve the lives of thousands of young people. This is the inside story of how mental illness works. young people, life is often a struggle. Puberty, exams and relationships can all be stressful. And it's during these times that mental illness is most likely to strike. Among teenagers, depression and anxiety have rocketed by 70% in the last 25 years. And one in a hundred young people can develop an extreme form of anxiety called obsessive compulsive disorder. 25 year old David lives in Luton. He's been living with OCD since he was 13, a common age for the condition to strike in men. I've been diagnosed with severe obsessive compulsive disorder and it's a really horrible mental sensation. I've lost friends because of it. It's affected my work, it's affected my health, uh, my relationships with family, um, everything. Sufferers experience obsessions that force them to repeat behaviours which they feel will reduce their anxiety. But OCD is not only about endlessly washing hands or checking locks. Many are haunted by intrusive and irrational thoughts.